Hi folks, Matthew Smith here, Librarian for Medicine, Health and Social Work at UEA. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how to access Clinical Key. Clinical Key is one of our key resources for medical ebooks, and I'm going to walk you through the steps to firstly access the resource on your computer, secondly to access it on your personal device, your, your own phone or your iPad, and then thirdly give you a little bit of direction on how to navigate the system. So let's start with how to access it on your computer. Okay, so to access Clinical Key, we'll need to first navigate to the library catalogue, and from there we'll click on the Find Databases link at the top of the page. This will give us an A to Z list of all the resources we have access to here at UEA. So if you navigate to Clinical Key, you'll find it either by looking under the C or by searching using the tool on the right hand side. So I'll go alphabetically, pull it up. So this should have us, here we go, Clinical Key. Now if I click on this link, it will push me through to the resource. Had I not gone through the catalogue, it will first ask me to log in with my username and password, but because I'd already done that, it drops me straight in and you'll see here that it's recognised me without needing to do anything more. The first time you click through this link, it will ask you just for your username, oh, sorry, not your username, your name, so your first name and surname, and I believe your email address as well. Fill those in, everything else takes care of itself, so you click through, it recognises you instantly, and that's all you need to do to use the resource on your computer. Okay, so to download Clinical Key for your own device, you'll need to first open your particular app store, and if you then look up Clinical Key Student, and it's this resource, Clinical Key Student Bookshelf, that you specifically need to download you will see that there are other clinical key tools. This is the one that you need to access our material. So after downloading it to your device, if you open it up, you'll be presented with an option to sign in. And if we click sign in, you'll see a screen that looks a little bit like the web page. Now this time, you won't sign in at the very top, but what you'll do is scroll down and log in via your institution. This will then ask you exactly which institution you're coming from. And if you type in UEA, it should have the option there. This then allows us to sign in with our regular UEA username and password. So I'll put my details in here. And after signing in, here we go. I should have access to my clinical key bookshelf. And we're gonna talk more about exactly what the bookshelf is and what you can do with it in the last part of this video, but essentially it allows you to access ebooks that you've already selected. And you'll see here that by clicking on Kumar and Clark, I'm able to trigger a download, which means that next time I'm away from Wi-Fi, I'll still be able to access the free book simply by signing in. So I'll still need some form of 4G or 3G just to authenticate. But once it's downloaded, the ebook sits on your phone for, I believe it's up to a full calendar year. You can then refresh it each year just so that you, the, the uh, app knows that you're still UEA. And you'll see here that I can navigate through the ebook to different sections. But I'll talk about some of the functionality on Bookshelf in the final section. Yeah, so we talked earlier about accessing Clinical Key. And once you're here, hopefully it's fairly straightforward to navigate. But I want to give you just a few pointers just to make sure you know the things that you need to to make the most of this resource. Now there are over 240 ebooks in this collection and there are some quite big ones you'll probably be able to see already a few that you will recognise as core text. So you've got things like Kumar and Clark, got Raymond Dells here, but there's, there's just a huge variety. You can use the search box up here to navigate to particular texts or you can use the show more to just browse the collections and see what we've got in there. But let's say, for example, that we wanted to look at one of these books. Let's take 
clinical medicine or Kumar and Clark as our example. If I click onto the text, what I'm able to do is I'm able to actually read this online. However, and here's quite an important thing. With clinical key, the, the, the material is split kind of across two platforms. You have the web version, which is what we're looking at here, but you also have something called your personal bookshelf. Now, it's really important that you understand the distinction because once you log on to the app on your phone, which I guess is how a lot of people will end up accessing this, this material, you're really only looking at the bookshelf. So while you can read on the website, what I would say to you is whenever there's a book that you know you're going to be making use of for a longer period of time, it's always good to push it into your bookshelf. Now, normally, there'll be a little button here that says add to bookshelf. I've already done that with this book. So for me, all I need to do is click link or rather launch bookshelf. And what that does is push me through to a slightly different looking version of clinical key. And if I had my URL, my web address browser on the screen, you'd see that it's actually a slightly different URL as well. And I can then read the book within this environment. Now on here, I'm able to change the size of the text. I can also change the way it's displayed. So you'll see that I can flip it to night mode. I've got a sepia option, different things for different people. So if you have particular needs, you can change the font. Like I said, change the size. You can change how the um, lines are spread out. There's, there's various things you can do on here. You can also add, here we go, highlighters. So if I wanted to remember this sentence in particular, I can highlight that. And that allows me also to add a note. So I can come back and I can make use of these later on. Now, if I come home in my, my clinical key bookshelf, I've actually got all of the books that I've ever added onto here. Now, this is why it's important to use the bookshelf. If one of your lecturers asks you to read, for example, a chapter from this particular book, bit slow loading up there, but this particular book, what they will probably do is using the copy URL button in the bottom right hand corner, send you a link that looks something like this. Now, if you don't have the book in your bookshelf, when you click on the link, you won't come through to it. It will hit an error. It will say you need to purchase the book, something like that. So for the links to work, you have to be logged in to your bookshelf and you have to have already added the book which is a little bit long-winded, but just to flag for you. The other thing that your lecturers might do is they might ask you um, or they might set you tasks. So you will see that there's also an assignments line. Now, this essentially is, is likely to be read this section or what have you. But what you can see here is the different books where I've been set a particular assignment. So I can see that in gynaecology, I've been asked to read 191, 2208, and then a couple of sections from clinical orgs and gynae. And I can, here we go, push through. And you'll see that it asks me to start the assignment, tells me exactly what I've got to read, and it then tracks my progress. So I can work through this, and then your lecturers will be able to see who's, who's managed to complete the reading and give them a sense of what's going on. But for you is also nice because it means you can keep track of what you've been asked to do and what you've managed to achieve at that point. So that's the library bookshelf. It works basically the same in the app, whether you're using it on a phone or if you've got a mobile device, um, even a, a tablet, a, a um, Surface Pro, something like that. You can get the apps for those as well. And you'll see that there's a download our app link here. So just to give you a bit of a sense, what I would be looking to do is basically use the bookshelf more than I use the main website. I would shovel stuff through to here. Okay, hopefully that's helpful just to give you a bit of um, direction on, on how to use the system. If you have any trouble, just let me know. You can always email me. My email address is matthew.j.smith at uea.ac.uk any trouble, any questions on this or any of the library's other resources. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, enjoy your reading.